In this video, the last to stop running is gonna win $100. Let's go ahead and meet all of the competitors. What's up, I'm Tyler, the other Tyler. Training for my third marathon. I actually just did an 11 mile run, but I still feel confident. I need that Benjamin baby. Oh, what's up, how's it going? It's been a long time <laughs> since you've been in front of a camera. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it, I understand. I'm Zach, I'm a running YouTuber, or a YouTuber, whatever you want to call me. But I'm gonna win today because I'm training for the Chicago Marathon and I'm clearly incredibly fit. What's up guys, it's been a while. I immigrated to Kenya, I now run for their national team. Also, I'm signed by Hoka. I think I'm the only dual pro athlete here, so I think I'm gonna win. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. What's up y'all, I'm Jackson. I ran the 5K video earlier. Walk the 5K video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sponsored by Nelk, and I haven't run in two months. Let's go. I'm Tyler's dad. I think you saw me in the, uh, what, one mile race a year ago where I did not come in last. That's my goal again today, to not come in last. So instead of doing like a 30 mile slog and really have the last to run, it's gonna be like a cut down. Here are all the paces that they need to hit. The first lap that they need to hit is a 120 equal to eight minute mile pace. And after that, every lap cuts down three seconds. So the first mile is a 742, the second mile is a 654, the third mile is a 606, the fourth mile is a 518, and the fifth mile is a 430. And if you can't hit one of the laps, you are done. Last to stop running wins $100. So now that you guys know the times, if this goes five miles, someone who likes, comments, their Venmo, and who they think is gonna win, and subscribes, I'll pay out an additional $100. Also, in this video, I was supposed to give away $40, but I didn't have anyone's Venmo, so that applies to this video now. I think I'm gonna win. <laughs> yes. I'm not gonna okay. lie. T-Crick already ran today, and Zach just doesn't run anymore, so I'm pretty sure I got this. Everybody's uh, gonna money, pull a hamstring like except for me on the first lap, and I'm gonna win. <laughs> Damn! So now, let's go ahead and start the race and see who's last to stop running. For $100, on your mark, get set, and just like that, they are off. My dad jumps out to a quick lead, had to lead this field of elite runners for just a little bit, and they have to run eight minute pace this first lap. All right, so right now, dad took it out super hard. This is the point where he can't take it out because it's only eight minute pace, but then it's gonna ramp down. So they are running super slow this first mile, and then it's gonna get really, really fast. So here they come now through the first lap. Obviously everyone, even my dad, even Jackson way in the back is gonna be able to run a two minute first lap it's going well they're pacing themselves so that the faster laps towards the end they'll be able to hit and then this is the other side at the 600 meter mark jackson way off right now everyone is literally just sitting on my dad right now who would have ever thought this would be a race video so obviously everyone's gonna be pretty comfortable through two laps now it's on to a 114 third lap Truly, this is a race between Tyler, Zach, and Jacob. My dad's almost played pacer now as they come through to lap four. So they're getting close to a mile, and that first mile was a 742. Pretty easy, but things start to ramp up, and actually, we're already gonna be losing our first competitor as Jackson doesn't make it through lap number three. Jackson is out. Four people remain. Today was not my day. <laughs> You made it three laps. That was the goal, and yeah. I made the goal. <laughs> True, let's go, baby. Good stuff. So now we're coming through the mile, and despite my dad falling off the pack, he's still actually gonna make it onto the fifth lap, which shows the top group is just slightly ahead of pace. But now we're on to lap five, and my dad has really gotten gapped. So it looks like my dad's starting to die. <laughs> this might be his last lap, which means we'll have three people left, which is kind of what we expected but it's gonna really start cranking down here now that they're a mile through. Zach versus Tyler versus Jacob. It's gonna be a showdown. Now the lead pack is finishing up lap five and you can see how much of a gap they've created on my dad. So unfortunately my dad isn't gonna be able to make it through. Here's my exit interview. <sighs> 
So now we're left with three fantastic runners. One with a PR of 225 in the marathon, one with a PR of 240 in the marathon, and one with a PR of 1616 in the 5K. And now we're running sub seven pace for the very first time. This is gonna be the seventh lap. Things are really starting to ramp up. It's getting into the sixes now. So the pace is going. Last to stop gets 100. Three people left in the race. This is gonna be a good finish. So let's go ahead and power through some of these next laps because none of these guys are gonna drop when it's running in the six minute range. They are all super fit and this is definitely gonna go well into the fives and hopefully four minute range before there's only one guy still left running. Also, if you're still watching at this point in the video, make sure to subscribe. We are so close to our goal of 10,000 subscribers. You guys are literally the best community on YouTube right now, and I cannot wait to see what comes in the future. So they are officially running six flat mile paces, really has dropped from A flat, and it's going to really crank. This is when things get exciting. Who is going to drop first of those three? So this is starting again. Fast, fast. As they come into lap 12, they are now running at 548 mile pace, which is pretty quick, especially considering how many laps they've run. But when it's for $100, you gotta want it and you gotta dig deep. Dang, so in real time, it looks like Tyler Krikovic is falling off the pace and it's gonna be a two man race, possibly, unless he, they're just surging. But Zach versus Jacob, it looks like it's coming down to. So unfortunately, it looks like Tyler's mileage is really, really starting to catch up to him. It is tough to run 11 miles and then come out and run something like this. He is going to be able to hit that 84 lap. But coming up here, Tyler is really going to drop. And there is just no way he's going to be able to run that 81. So he is unfortunately going to be eliminated. They just started taking off. And I was feeling that run. Hey, that was good for yeah, 12 nice miles. Like, you made it nice. far. Okay, so we are officially down to two people. It's Jacob versus Zach, and we're getting close to five minute mile pace. So here we go, the final 1v1 matchup. The last person to stop running is going to walk away with $100. You got two guys who are probably past their prime in running, both probably running about 30 miles a week. But here they are running five flat pace after so many laps already, and this is going to come down to a kick. They're both gonna hit the 75 and move on to a 72 last lap for a 448 mile pace. This is probably it. This is going to be the last lap. Jacob made a come move. On, Can he hold? Zach is tied. Oh my God, this give me an epic finish. So Jacob makes a move on the outside immediately in the first hundred, passes Zach, and this is coming down to the last 400. Can either of these guys run a 72 and win this battle? We're in the last hundred. It is coming down to the very end. Jacob is going to be ahead of Zach, but... Okay, so here's the thing. They both didn't hit the 72 lap, which leaves us in a little bit of a pickle. Are you guys okay splitting it? If you guys want to see a rematch and see if we can get a clear winner, have Tyler Fresh maybe, 2,000 likes, and we will do part two of this video. Here's another video to watch. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. See you in the next one.